I'm Mike Bryant. I'm the project leader for the North Carolina Coastal Plain Refuges Complex. It's a group of six refuges on the coast of North Carolina. And I'm talking now about a project that's occurring on Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge, one of those refuges in that coastal plain that's being exposed to the effects of what we believe are climate change driven sea level rise and salt water increasing. The changes we're seeing are the plant communities are changing from forest to marsh, we're losing shoreline and we're losing soil in, as a consequence of what we believe to be this combination of sea level rise and increased salinity. What the Nature Conservancy and the Fish and Wildlife Service decided to do was we have the land as the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Nature Conservancy has the interest and could find money to do some adaptation work on the refuge. They were successful in getting a uh, million dollars from an energy company, Duke Energy, and they were also successful in getting additional funding. Currently they have about a million and a half dollars. It's to put water control structures in ditches that would force the water to go back across the lands rather than run through the ditch system, which would get it back to a more natural system. It's also to plant trees where we're losing trees to see which species could persist longer in this changing environment. And a third project is to build oyster reefs parallel to the shoreline of the refuge, which would slow the rate of erosion by uh, catching the wave energy before it hits our shore. And we've decided not just to stand there and go, well, there's nothing we can do. We've decided, yeah, we can do some things to figure out if what we do works and slows that rate. And so we, with the Nature Conservancy's help, have been able to start this project.